It's summertime. The bucks are getting their antlers back. People sitting out on their front porches and the June bugs doing their thing. Full moon's out. We need to look at setting up a tent. All setting up the dreaded tent. I don't mind setting up a tent. We got a new tent this year. Uh, it's a bush nail. One of those pop-ups. We'll be able to set it up in under 10 minutes. And it, it sets up pretty quick. This is how it starts. And Gina and I got it up pretty quick. I'll be doing a video later on on how it actually works. Um, but the one thing that has never changed about any tent is the guy lines or the guy wires. And you'll see these orange pieces of string dangling from the tent every tent's got them and they're all so important for tent stability we live in a windy area and went camping uh, about a month ago and i watched about eight or nine tents uh meet their demise and i guarantee every one of them was because they didn't have their guy wire in line and it's not guide wire it's guy wire here's proof wikipedia says it right here it's a guy wire and we used them in the service it's just a, a tension cable used a lot of different ways there you go, here's it what it looks like and uh no, it's, it's real easy to do you, you get your stake out uh i say easy well, it it's easy if you've done it and you know what you're doing but when you first pull it out it can be a little bit at least for me i'm simple a little bit too simple sometimes yeah. Took me a little bit to figure it out. Did you get that? Well, let's slow her down there, Sparky. On your tensioner that comes with all these tents these days, it's a little black on this one's a piece of plastic. Just pull you out a loop. And you can adjust it however you need it, depending on where you put your stake. And you just come down with that loop and you put it over your stake and then it's just as easy as pulling that tensioner right on up just pull it right on up until you run out of guy line guy wire that little knot will come right up to your tensioner kind of tilt it up a little bit there and pull on the, the side that goes back to the tent and you'll feel it it'll instantly start tightening up and cinching down and cinching down and you'll get it perfect now if a kid runs through and bumps it or whatever it can come undone but you can tie a knot if you want i usually don't but you need to make sure you do them all they're all on there for a reason and they're tie down points to these tents to help keep them stabilized especially during the wind they, and they work good for that. This is a tent that we've had forever. It's a TP tent. Look at all the guy lines on it. I mean, and if it wasn't for them, this tent does not stand up. And you have to have it, and you got to know how to use that guy wire. So make sure that you do. Don't skip that step. And of course, all of our nosy neighbors, they always got to come check out what we're doing, especially if we're setting up tents and, and all that. I don't know if any of y'all have nosy neighbors, but, you know. You can do this. Take your kids camping. Use your guy wires on your tent. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one.